this house on Lamisher Bay was built over 200, 200 years ago. And at the time, plantation farming dominated most of St. John. These plantations grew sugarcane and cotton and produced sugar, molasses, and rum. Nearly all of the island was clear cut, settled, and used for plantation farming. However, the north and west coasts of the island were, used, were heavily populated due to the availability of fresh water. Due to the poor quality of the soil and the lack of water, plantation farming was only profitable if the owner used indentured criminals or, Af or enslaved Africans. The slaves were imported from Africa and did all the work on the plantation, along with indentured criminals from Europe, who were convicted to six to ten years of free labor. Because the owners had no investment, the criminals were often worked to death and had worse living conditions than the slaves. Still, the slaves were forced to work long days in the tropical sun, which, combined with lack of water and diseases like dysentery and malaria, spelled death for many workers. These kings were usually less willing to work, but sometimes acted as taskmasters for their fellow slaves. Additionally, the kings and nobles were the ones that started uprisings and rebellions that dot the history of the island. Slave quarters had foundations of stone, but were primarily thatch and palm leaves, so there are few ruins left on the entire island. The buildings were built with brick from Europe that was used as ballast for shipping slaves to the Virgin Islands. Also used was bluebit, a local stone, and coral harvested locally as it could be easily cut into corners while still alive. Mortar was made with ground coral, water, and other ingredients. The main source of revenue was rum and sugar, so a universal building was a boiling room or distillery. Plants like sugarcane and bay rum were crushed and boiled in pots. For rum, yeast was added to make alcohol. The grinder used power from windmills like on the Annaberg plantation, and horse and later steam power like the Reef Bay plantation. The fuel used to boil liquids was charcoal, which became a major internal industry on the island. Plantations also had large storage and workrooms where sugar and rum was stored until it was sold. The owner and their family lived in larger houses overlooking or to the side of the plantation. Some plantations, like the Lamisher Estate, also had schoolhouses for slave children born on the island. Tourists today find it easy to forget that for 200 years this was a hellish place of plantation farming. That all ended with the freeing of the slaves. Without free labor, plantation farming was no longer profitable, and the island transitioned back into subsistence living. With the institution of the National Park, many of the buildings fell into disrepair and became overgrown. The Lamisher Estate buildings, which we are standing in now, were used by the University of Virgin Islands for a time and are now being restored by volunteers.